Good morning. Um, for today, I'd like to read Psalm 8. It just came to me when Renee and I were walking this morning. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. We have set your glory, you have set your glory above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and infants, you have founded a bulwark because of your foes to silence the enemy and the avenger. When I look at your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars that you have established, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them? You have, you have made them little lower than God and crowned them with glory and honor. You have given them dominion over the works of your hands. You have put all things under their feet, all sheep and oxen, all the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, whatever passes along the paths of the seas. O Lord, our sovereign, how majestic is your name in all the earth. The phrase, what are human beings that you are mindful of them, mortals that you care for them, has struck me through the years. Um, just the incomprehensive nature of it to some degree that I, I think of the scope of the universe or universes um, from those who study the smallest subatomic particles <laughs> all the way to those that are just um, studying the depths of space. And so the question, uh, what are mortals that you are mindful of them? This wonderful uh, portion of scripture validating God's love and concern for all human beings, all creation, and that we've been given the role and responsibility of stewardship of, of this creation. I confess that um, <clears throat> my faith is a, a fairly basic one at times in the sense that I can't even begin to wrap my brain around the concept of creation and create ongoing creation. And um, if possibly a better person to speak on that would be uh, Pastor Bruce Boer, who uh, had wrestled earlier in life with a call to fig figure out whether he wanted to be called and follow a path towards astrophysicist or pastor. Uh, and he responded to the call to become a pastor uh, while maintaining his love for stargazing. So uh, he might be able to better answer some of these questions. Um, hey, I've kind of got a random set of things going on. Um, that uh, in the wake of the tornado of Seneca, uh, they still need help, but they need smart help in that I, I would recommend anybody that's looking to serve, um, go on the website for Seneca City Hall. They, they are trying to guide uh, folks to places that people can safely work. Um, I, I saw a friend of mine's post from Clemson United Methodist. They actually have a United Methodist volunteers in mission group that obviously are pre-trained people who know how to navigate disaster areas that recognize that live wires can still possibly be on ground. Something I learned uh, in an article on the news, in the newspaper was that generators can actually backfeed electrical systems. So even though power is off, they can be um, actually create accidental electrocution, something I had never heard about. I was very aware through uh, following up with uh, Hurricane Hugo back in 89 when I volunteered part of a chainsaw crew, uh, Lumberman's City Mutual or one of the insurance companies was sending out crews, a trained person running the chainsaw, which was not me, <laughs> and then somebody who could just clear wood and clear brush but could act, uh, could know how to navigate over tripping hazards, not in the way of saws, uh, uh, being cognizant of branches that are sometimes referred to as widow makers that could, could come down. So it's not, um, you de basically don't want to create additional work and injuries by our earnest zeal to get in there and help. So help wisely. Um, obviously any groups like Golden Corner Pantry, people that were already in the community prior to the disaster, uh, good cold hard cash checks always are best because they can then um, uh, direct the resources to the most needed needed places. So I'd, I recommend you going to the, um, the Seneca City Hall website and uh, look for current updates. Obviously, if you have 
folks in the community, in the neighborhoods where direct help can be um, associated, that, that also works out very well. Um, with, with reference to coronavirus, again, some, some things I've just picked up on was that um, Singapore apparently, who had done a great job of controlling the outbreak, had been loosening uh, controls in their in their society, and what they've seen is a surge in uh, in reinfection or infections, and so this is a balance that countries around the globe are trying to navigate between uh, having people be able to um, go out and about more freely, and yet recognizing that until we truly know a lot more about how the virus is transmitted um, through surface contacts and things of that nature that, that um, I've always been a proponent in my life, slow and steady wins the race. So um, pray for scientific breakthroughs where, uh, and, and again, data collection from around the world that we can help one another. Uh, the, one of our families has settled in that, that, that their home had been uh, severely damaged. Um, food has been uh, scheduled for the next week just for settling in and appreciate everybody involved with that. If you are not part of Cheryl and Carrie Smith's Facebook, um, you could have a real laugh that they, they have uh, looked at some of the damage. Thankfully, all of them are safe and their pets are safe, but uh, have done some after action scientific analysis of all their furniture and everything that was destroyed off the deck, but uh, they, I'm not doing it justice. They, they wrote up a report that was actually quite funny, so I appreciate their sense of humor, even in times of difficulty. Um, I think to me that uh, falls under the bigger Lutheran spectrum of both and. We can both take things very, very seriously and have those moments of humor. Uh, I, uh, I'm reminded of a gentleman, my previous call, his name is Buck, and it was a day or two before his death, and Buck always had a joke. And so there I am, he's, um, you know, it's the last time I visited with him, and he said, Pastor, come here. <laughs> and I get down to his bedside, and he tells a joke to me. I, I think he, may have died within the next 24 to 48 hours. And I said, Lord, if at all possible, I want that to be me while I'm still alive. I want to be laughing. So um, it's not to um, underestimate the pain that others are going through. It's not to diminish that. Um, and I would never want to um, add insult to injury for those who are in the depth of it. But there are times when humor can really help bolster spirits and get people back up on their feet, encourage them that life is going on. And with a community support, with faith um, from others, community support, we will get through things, uh, be it the tornado, be it the virus, be it the other things that come our way. Um, so, um, oh, last thing. Uh, tonight, Renee and I are going to try something new. Between five and six, uh, we'll be having a Zoom meeting open to anyone that uh, with Unilu that would just like to drop in. So uh, please text, email, um, call me, and we'll get out a Zoom invitation. The reason I'm not blasting it, broadcasting it, is um, unfortunately some folks have experienced Zoom meetings that the the password got a little bit out of hand and some people crashed with um, with some inappropriate pornographic material and I did not want to have that happen to our Zoom meetings. So uh, I'm glad to send the invitation out to anyone and everyone as long as we know that there was somebody who is gonna um, join the party and just catch up with one another. So that will be between five and six today, Friday um, the 17th. And so if you're interested, uh, again, text, email, or call me. Let me close with a word of prayer. Good and gracious God, we give you thanks that truly you count the hairs on our head, that uh, your love, your um, 
presence is with us. So help us this day, um, help uh, parents at home with kids that uh, they can um, have their activities for teachers who are teaching students and the students themselves that they may have learning beyond um, textbooks, but, uh, but can also continue in a way to help develop their minds that they can um, live out um, the call to, to serve you and to serve one another as best as we are able. So bless us this day, help us to um, respond as we are able to reach out to our neighbors. And this we ask and pray in Jesus' name, amen. Well, have a blessed day and I might see some of you tonight in the Zoom call. And if, um, if you'd like to drop in, otherwise it'll be tomorrow morning. God's peace be with you. Bye-bye.